all right welcome to another video in this video we are going to be doing um, an atmospheric correction on our data previously we have been looking at our data and we have been doing some manipulations now uh, the, this video is about doing uh, atmospheric correction using the flash module and uh, just a quick um, uh, 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 quick look at what radiometric correction is all about. Uh, it's a pre-processing uh, function uh, and uh, before you do some quantitative analysis on your remotely sensed data, uh, this uh, radiometric uh, correction is needed. So pre-processing function involve those operations that are normally required prior to the main data analysis and extraction of information. The only sense is to convert the data so as to accurately represent uh, the reflected or emitted radiation measured by the sun's sensor so that the actual energy that is either reflected or emitted by the target would uh, be, uh, be represented accurately. Now, these pre-processing are generally grouped as either radiometric or geometric, but in this video, we're going to be talking a lot more about the radiometric corrections. And radiometric corrections uh, involve um, uh, the correcting the data, the remotely sent data for sensor irregularities, for wanted sensor noise or atmospheric noise, from uh, solar illumination variation or sun angle, sky radiance, topographic effects, uh, even for sensor calibrations and all that. So that is what we are going to be doing to us to correct uh, the data for some of these. So, and um, the, the method for the atmospheric correction that we are going to be applying is the flash atmospheric correction. A quick look at the health file for, for this MV uh, will give you some information about the flash um, uh, atmospheric uh, correction model. Flash uh, is an acronym for Fast Line of Sight Atmospheric Analysis of Spectral uh, Hypercubes. And if you click on this place, um, it will give you some information and what you need to do to actually do this. And we will notice here is that we have to do a, a radio um, a metric correction and all that. So you, you read this up and notice what um, you are supposed to do. That's all. And let's go quickly to what's the business at hand now we are going to load uh, the data the remotely sensed data and then we're going to be using the metadata file so we load that and let the data load so what we're going to be doing we're going to be subsetting this data so as to reduce computation time and speed we're not going to be using the whole scene of the landsat uh, um, image uh, we are going to be uh, having a subset of this um, Landsat image here. So if we uh, reduce these ones, we'll be able to see what we are going to be doing. Now we are going to load again the, um, the file that we are going to be using for the, the subsetting. And it is located here. And um, where are you now? Come on. Okay. Uh, Landsat. You should be here. Okay. Landsat. Okay, let's use this. The boundary. And um, there we go. Uh, we've loaded this. Uh, this is the subset of, our, of what we are going to be using to subset this data. This is the area where we want to be doing our analysis. So we'll go to this place and search for the radiometric calibration. That is the first um, um, first task at hand. So double click that. So in doing this, uh, let's shift this guys a little bit here. All right. So what we're going to be using is this um, multispectral data of the Landsat OLI. So, and um, the multi-spectral contains seven of the bands 
uh, 7 bands is the multispectral uh, data. So what we're going to be using, and here we're going to be doing a special subset. We're not going to be using the full extent. And now, and when we click that, it will load and tells you. So we are going to be using a, a file. So we are subsetting not by raster. And uh, we are setting subsetting by uh, ROI. Uh oh, there's no ROI defined. Okay, let's go to a vector here, and we are using this boundary as the subset. Okay, here we go. So that is the place where we are going to be. So what we are going to do is to radio metrically calibrate this data and subsetting it at the same time so when we check that everything is okay we hit the ok button here so it's going to uh, perform the radio metric calibration now the calibration type is radiance we need it in radiance uh, we will not bother with this but the output interleave we need is the bil the band interleave but um, if we apply this flash head, because the flash setting uses only the band interlay for its own operation, once we hit this, it changes it automatically to the band interlay and we scale it to 0.1. Now we're going to look for where we're going to be outputting the, the file. So we're going to punch it up here and um, uh, let's name it. Um, radiometric calibration uh, radiometric calibration of the uh, first uh, seven bands all right let's just leave the radiometric calibration that's what we need so we've got the name there and we now hit the ok button so this will radiometrically calibrate this data and subset it at the same time so this process is building here so it's important that uh, we watch it it takes uh, some some little amount of time and uh, I'm going to pause the video while it, um, it its operation it's ongoing all right the the operation is done so we can now continue and um, this is uh, what we need now so the, the, the next task will be to apply uh, the flash atmospheric um, correction. But in that case, we do not need these anymore. So uh, this is the rat cow that we need. So we go to this place and um, remove this. Uh, we close all these files. We do not need them anymore so that they will not interfere with uh, what we are going to be doing okay uh, let's get this out this one we don't need this we don't need this we don't need this for now we'll take them away for the purposes of uh, this we do not need this boundary shift file too so we don't need this so let's get uh, this straight or stretched up and um, okay come here all right there we go so we have it we have it there now apply are a two percent linear stretch to that so uh, we have that loaded so the next uh, thing that we're going to be doing is to apply the flash atmospheric correction so uh, we just type in the flash and uh, to bring the toolbox out for us to use okay the flash atmospheric correction model all right so uh, this is the flash atmospheric correction model input parameters. So uh, the input radiance image is that which we have uh, already uh, calculated, and this is the radical. Uh, we do not need a special subset for it. We have done that already. So 
and um, here the radial scale factors uh, we want to use just a single scale factor for all bands and that should be one and then we go here so the next thing is the output reflectance file where do we get that from uh, we go uh, to this place output reflectance file we'll just get here I think that's where it is so we now name it um, radical um, we'll put the flash um, radical that's the name okay remove this we click open and that is where we want our the flash record so the output directly for flash files we still repeat what we have done okay we get to this place uh, right right get to this place get to documents oh this is a very long okay we get to documents we are here and uh, we go to this place and uh, we go get here uh, we we'll just may make a new folder for flash files uh, flash files so all right so we hit ok and another ok so there we go the root name for flash files let's just um, name it flash it doesn't matter so so this is the synth center and uh, uh, the sensor we have to rename it to its Landsat its OLI uh, the sensor altitude in kilometer this is it ground elevation a quick look at that says this place is about uh, 900 so we just uh, give it one kilometer ground elevation what a big cell size to be 30 meters and we want to fill up this data fortunately it didn't load automatically so we just get to where our data is and open up the metadata file the metadata file will give us uh, that information so and uh, a quick look at this place shows that look at the time uh, the date that this thing was acquired the 9th of January 2018 so we get there 9th of January 2018 January 9 2018 and um, the time when this um, particular scene was acquired 94405 94405 so we impute that information here 94405 okay there we go now the atmospheric model is tropical uh, the aerosol model rural no aerosol topospheric let's just um, take rural it doesn't matter much and then we will read the aerosol retrieval to the two band kt let's uh, leave that that way this initial visibility 40 kilometers will leave it that way so we hit on this multi-spectral settings and um, we want to uh, look at this function file you see if we look at this is you see this function file was marked to mv classic the function file but we are not using the MV classic so we go and open um, uh, the, the right function file for this operation it should be in this resource um, filter functions and uh, let's look for Landsat 8 or LI SLI okay, that is the right file that we need to, to process uh, for this um, flash atmospheric correction so it's loading it's going to load sorry my computer is a little bit loaded and it's taking time for it to okay there we go we have it here and that's all we need to to have let it finish loading 
uh, okay that's okay here is it so we click OK on it now it has set it to the right and uh, mapped it to the right filter function file that is um, Excelix MV5 for the resource filter functions Landsat what ally so we need to go to this place and then uh, change uh, this default setting to the overland retrieval and make sure we have this um, shortwave infrared and red bands uh, appearing there serious band we don't have that so we just basically leave the like down so now we are using the GUI uh, except probably previously if you have saved the settings you can actually load the settings but we have not done that so we leave it that way and we hit the OK button let's get this guy out of this place okay now we have this uh, this all set in case you want we, we want to use this again and you don't want to remember uh, or you want to continue to use or send someone uh, the, the file so you can save it so let us look for a place to say so let's save it in the flash files and uh, that is uh, the parameters that we use so you can uh, send it to anybody that may want to use the same particular operation so uh, pretty much everything is okay the way i see it and we now hit the apply button to perform uh, the atmospheric correction on this data set usually takes um, some while so while it is processing let me pause the video and then uh, uh, wait uh, it's processing all right I think that is done as soon as it loads um, uh, you will get this uh, particular file that pops out here and that is the flash atmospheric correction uh, results so that pretty much uh, and does it uh, we have this um, uh, atmospherically correct subset uh, data from our Landsat scene so that's pretty much what you will do in uh, performing atmospheric correction thanks for watching